Well, there have been some very interesting new characters added to the uh, Biden administration team recently. So let's uh, take a look at what they have to uh, serve America in these weird times. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much weirder than this. Joe Biden's uh, unconventional uh, deputy monkeypox coordinator. This would be Dr. Dimitri Deskalakis, if I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Probably not, but I tried. So here we go at the uh, Pride Parade. I guess, you know, if, if you're going to have somebody, monkeypox obviously affects uh, homosexual men more than anybody, and maybe exclusively. So I guess this is a right pick. But uh, here's CDC's and HIV's are. Um, I, again, I think it's it's cool that they're getting a, a homosexual man to deal with these homosexual related diseases. Described as the person who is largely responsible for the decreasing rates of HIV in New York City in recent years. Uh, and good for him. I think that's uh, terrific that he's a uh, skilled and talented guy who wants to uh, serve his country and his community. So good stuff. But God, does this guy have a weird lifestyle or what? I'm not trying to judge, but come on, dial it back a little bit. People go through phases in their you know teenage years, in their 20s, what have you. But come on, man. Uh, explain yourself on this. So here's meet the latest Biden official expert on monkeypox who sports satanic tattoos and calls himself a nasty pig. You do not not want to know what that means. Uh, it's a code in their community. I haven't looked it up. It's up to you if you really want to know. I certainly don't. I'll just assume the worst and not uh, have it out of sight and out of mind. But he's uh, is a hero for some, and that's great. Um, here's a tweet from John Nicosia saying, We are letting insane people run this country. Yeah, you know what? They don't look like they're mentally healthy. You know, it's uh, it's it's great that we could have uh, you know talented medical professionals uh, doing great things at the very highest levels. And I'm not necessarily doubting his skills because I have no idea. But man, it, it starts to put doubt in your mind when you see these kinds of uh, pictures. Uh, like this is uh, normalizing uh, what what someone might think would be a, a satanic freak show. Here you go. These are the people that work in the Biden administration. Here's a, uh, there's a few of them. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll go into some more detail. Uh, <laughs> Assistant Human Health Secretary. Um, this guy was into some kind of weird uh, dog fetish stuff. Uh, again, not trying to judge, but it does make me worried that you're uh, handling like nuclear secrets of the country. Can you do both? Maybe. It's another clown for the circus from this publication. Uh, the Biden Department of Energy pick bragged about having sex with animals or I'm not sure if he's into bestiality he's non-binary and he likes his uh, his uh, boyfriends to uh, wear like dog stuff uh, put, put a leash on and the collar parade them around uh, have weird sexual relations cool uh, as long as you uh, are competent at what you're doing, it's Sam Brinton. He's a drag queen, LGBTQ activist, hired at a top-level position. Um, yeah, what other positions is he into? There he is at a uh, big uh, White House function or something going down in D.C. Again, not judging, but man, really, the optics are uh, pretty bad for a lot of people. Now, this guy is some sort of, a, I don't know, comedian TikToker uh, posing as the Biden intern. Not really uh, in, in effect, but this is the uh, look they're, they're going for, it seems like. But the biggest freak of all, they just brought back John Podesta as they've announced a senior clean energy and climate team. In his new role, Podesta will oversee implementation of the Inflation Reduction Act's expensive clean energy and climate provisions. I don't trust this guy at all. I think he is uh, as dirty as you can get, and they're throwing it in our face. I mean, this image will just be burned into my mind forever. This is a guy who's, uh, as the, the WikiLeaks pointed out, is into uh, spirit cooking, and who knows? 
knows uh, what other kind of uh, awful things uh, you, you, this person may be into. This is uh, freaky looking, and there's allegedly uh, some really nasty things towards uh, children, which I do have a problem with. I don't care what you do with consenting adults, but leave the fucking kids alone. Is this somebody you want at the, uh, the, the top level of making decisions in this country? I mean, good God, you got your sick fetishes, but keep it to yourself. We don't need to hear your, uh, or see your eyes wide shut, uh, satanic fucking bullshit. But uh, here we are. So we have a problem with uh, the culture in this country. It seems like it's the uh, the end of our civilization with people like this uh, running things. But uh, we'll try to be optimistic. And hopefully they'll just be voted out in November. And uh, we'll worry about the, the cleanup later. So uh, God help us. <laughs> <laughs> because it looks like we have a satanic freak show in this administration uh, running the country right now. Hopefully we'll, we'll get out of this intact and have better days ahead. We shall see. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.